The idea for the Center for Open Science came out of recognizing that we have to tackle the system of how science works if we're going to change people's behaviors toward their ideals. When I was getting into science, I, like many others, thought that the process of science was one of pursuing your curiosity, trying to understand how things work, trying to investigate problems, share those results with others, and see what we could discover and learn. But I discovered that it does not. What I didn't expect was how much publication is the actual currency of advancement. And certain kinds of things are more publishable than others. But the hard part as a grad student was realizing as I was doing the work in the laboratory is that it's messy. There's lots of negative results. There's lots of things that don't quite fit together. And so the reward system was something that was very hard to achieve in the natural course of doing the research. We have a theory of change, which is what really is the basis for the, the background for why we are using infrastructure as part of our theory of change. We also incorporate user-centric design principles that uh, make the infrastructure usable for communities and researchers adopting these open practices. We then engage communities to support making these behaviors uh, more normative. We then work with stakeholders to align the incentives for researchers to make these behaviors um, rewarding. And then finally work with policymakers to create policies that uh, require and, and reinforce the behaviors to be adopted by researchers and communities. We want to understand the current situation of how things are occurring, but also ways to improve that process to increase the efficiency. So a good example would be the reproducibility project in cancer biology. So this is a seven-year effort to replicate findings from high-impact cancer biology papers. There were challenges throughout the entire process. Lack of information, lack of data sharing, code sharing. When we did replicate the results, we didn't find findings that were similar to the original findings. So this tells us that there's rooms to improve the process. And these papers will be published in December of this year. Our primary goal for the Center for Open Science is to change the default from closed to open. So that standard practice is that a researcher will do their work and show you, the reader, how they got to the claims that they got to. So that you can reuse what they've done, you can challenge or question what they've done, or you can build on what they've done. And that will really accelerate science to maximize progress on knowledge, on solutions, and on treatments.